Hey guys, so I was just thinking I'll do a get ready video with me. Don't look at my ears. Don't laugh at my face. <laughs> um, because I want to talk about a few things with people. Um, like if I post something on my communal page and people say, well, look, the biggest thing that annoys me that people say is she only agrees with her own opinion. Now, anybody who knows me <laughs> knows that that's not true because I actually like learning other people's opinion. It's how we grow, right? Um, so... Those people, I'm tired of explaining myself, I just block them. Because they're right about one thing. This is my channel. Right? They're just sat behind a keyboard, being a warrior, you know, thinking, you know, they know everything and they're the world's greatest and not even realising why they found their way to my channel. They could share their opinion, hopefully, without attacking. That's what most of us do on my channel, right? Where we share our own opinion and we agree to disagree like adults. Imagine that. You can agree to disagree like that and that's it. You can even see something you don't agree with and not comment. Who knew? Who knew you could do that on the internet these days? My towel's gone. <laughs> so who knew, right? You can see something you don't agree with and you're healed enough to say nothing. I see countless things every single day I don't agree with. It doesn't mean I'm going to sit there and endlessly argue with somebody I don't know for no reason. And I'm not only on about people doing this to me, they do it to my sus subscribers. When they do it to my subscribers, I kind of kick in like, hey, you need to get the F out of here before my stinger comes out because I'm defensive of people. Like, if people are saying stuff to me, I'm like, okay, whatever. But I'm defensive of other people that are um, around me. I consider family, things like that. Um, I just think, well, what are you even doing? What are you doing with arguing with somebody you don't know? There's a difference between arguing and debating, right? So if you want to put your point in and you're here to put your point across or and maybe learn different perspectives, right? That's um, learning to think, right? Because most people are taught in school to remember, not to think, to remember. Remember facts of his story, right? You get me? Uh, somebody else's story. Not what they've learned or grown or come across themselves. Um, they just, you're taught to remember. I was taught to remember at school. Not that I can remember anything I did at school because I have a terrible memory. <laughs> but here we have an opportunity to learn to think. Take one perspective, another perspective, another perspective, as many as we want, mash them all together, think about it, maybe grow our opinion, maybe stick to our opinion, whatever. It really, Really, it's up to each individual and the information you've come across. Do you agree with it, not agree with it? Um, you know, is it something that, you know, that's expanding your knowledge? Or, like I said, learning you to think. Now, arguing is sticking to your point without listening to another person's opinion. Um, you are just hearing to argue back 
or reading in this case to argue back, not listening to understand. Um, so I hope you get my uh, my point there um, that people are just listening to, uh, uh, sorry, reading or hearing to argue back, not actually listening to understand. So if you're about arguing, which there's going to be internet trolls, you know, it happens, whatever, it happens, right? So some of them we can see and some of them um, just really want to argue with somebody. They want to go around the internet, feel like they're accomplishing something and argue with somebody, which uh, we just don't have time for. We all have the same amount of time and energy every day whether we choose to do something good with it, positive with it, it's up to us. Um, it's up to the individual person. It's just how it is, right? I'm looking for my eyeshadow primer because I actually wanted to do a video for you guys, but I actually wanted to have some makeup on. <laughs> but, um, I haven't, um, what do you call it, I haven't got no makeup on yet, but I wanted to do this video as well, just to sit down, get ready with me, a think out loud sort of thing. You know me guys, I'm always thinking out loud. <laughs> Feel free to even tell me to shut up thinking out loud, but um, yeah, that's the whole reason I have comments on, because I do let people speak their opinion. Right, you know, I'm getting told I don't l listen to anybody else's point of view. I'm just a tarot reader, so I put my own point across and leave it there. Okay, <laughs> okay, if that's what you're saying, go ahead, believe that, and be on your way. Have a nice day, can't be bothered with you because, like I said, I'd already took it out and put it in front of me. <laughs> I already said that's not who I am and I've said it multiple times and I give chan people chances if they're new to my channel to see um, that that's not me like to only allow my opinion I'll let people put whatever they want about me and leave it there on the channel because everybody's free to make their own opinion they might be right I probably am the world's biggest bitch my personality or character depends on me right my the way i treat you depends on you like get used to um people maybe not liking you if that's the thing um get used to people not agreeing with you but also get used to understanding. You don't have to listen to their opinion. You don't have to try and make them like you. It doesn't matter who they are. Um, you can even love people from afar because some people are just too toxic for you to be in your circle, be in your area here. You know, um, so if it's family members, for example, get used to loving them from afar i bet your relationship will dramatically improve with them and yourself right it's just how it is i mean some people have had bad upbringings and you know terrible things happen to children right that i don't care to repeat but it is what it is. We can't all be lucky enough to have great, wonderful parents, right? Even I'm a parent, a grandparent, we make mistakes and it's all about learning and going back and looking and then understanding and maybe communicating that to our children as well. At a certain point, we didn't understand. We was maybe in survival mode so we didn't give you everything maybe you needed emotionally because we were trying to take care of you physically right 
so yeah there's that you know um excuse me like i said this is just a get ready with me video you don't really have to um watch but i'm gonna pause the video because i'm gonna put on some eyelashes i want it to look cute today for you guys <laughs> i just did i don't right now but hopefully when i'm finished I'll look cute in the other video, so make sure you stick around for the other video as well. But I'm going to pause it now, and then I'm going to come back when my eyelashes are on. I usually put my eyelashes on after I've done my eyeshadow. Um, and I think that's a better way to go. But in this instant, I'm not going to. I'm going to try it without. It may go wrong. I may come back with no eyelashes. <laughs> Okay, guys, one second. I'll be right back. I'm back. As always, the intention was there to look cute and to do my makeup with you guys. But whether it follows through or not, here's a whole different story. I can't even remember the last time I've done my makeup. So don't be looking on this video thinking you're going to get makeup tips. No, 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 no. I cannot do makeup. Um, obviously, I have a um, 20 year old daughter, so I had lots of cute makeup, but not anymore. <laughs> um, well, she can use it better than me anyway, so she can have it. It's fine. Well, if you gave me no choice whether she can have it or not, but um, yeah, I'm not good at it, so she can have it. It's cool. It's fine. I'm not dwelling on it at all. <laughs> so, like I said, don't get makeup tips from me. I'm just winging it. Same as life. The only reason I don't think that my opinion is more important than your guys or anything like that, um, I actually learn as much from you guys, um, if not more. Um, then you guys would learn from me because like there's just so many opinions out there so much knowledge out there that can be gained and found and things like that so yeah I don't only go with my opinion anyway next chapter um, yeah that's just one of my pet peeves on the channel another one is um, Maybe you guys have seen somebody pretending to be my ex because it's none of my exes commenting on the channel. It's nobody I know. I never give anybody I know my channel. Um, just one of my sisters knows my channel, that's it. But this person keeps saying, I knew you was cheating on me and things like that. That person, I don't know, they want some attention or something. So they're nothing to do with me. Just remember that. <laughs> I don't know why they're saying it or what they're gaining from it, um, but that sometimes it annoys me because of some of the things it says. I mean, I commented to it, are you okay, do you want some help, things like that. Um, on my last Thinking Out Loud video, there was um, a lady who commented something absolutely beautiful um, that... Um, People should respect um, that I'm not on this trying to date. Uh, they can, you know, ask me out, do whatever they want. They have free will. But if they have been told no, they should accept it and respect it. I'm trying to um, grow with you guys. I think if you look back on my first video and see where we've come to you'll see a huge difference and growth within me as well right and hopefully you guys have grown too every mirror i have here except for the mirror i need <laughs> so yeah she wrote like it was on that thinking out loud do we always owe somebody the truth video um, she wrote a beautiful comment that I really agreed with. Um, but yeah, check out that video too, guys. It's probably a lot more interesting than this one. <laughs> I'm 
than me doing very bad makeup. Okay, so um, another thing I wanted to think out loud about, you know, when I'm doing my makeup, I've usually got music on, so <laughs> it's usually just a lot easier for me. But when we are, you know, we should really, all, I always stick the music on um, to do anything, makeup, cleaning, whatever. I need music on, raise my spirits, get in the mood, think of positive uh, goals, um, business ideas, things like that. I always get a lot of business ideas while I'm listening to music and sat down just doing something random like this. <laughs> um, so, give it a try. Um, I posted uh, something about, it was a meme. It was a meme, it was a joke. And it was about the government, I guess. I guess, yeah, saying the government has there's no P left because the government has taken it all, which I thought was hilarious because I have a sense of humour. <laughs> um, because here in England, you can basically get money off to go out and meet friends to revamp up the um, economy. Um, but you can get fined for going to visit friends, uh, family, but you can sit with four friends. So it was just, you know, a joke because the messages we've received from the government aren't the clearest. As somebody commented yesterday, oh my God, if only people understood how politics work. You can understand how politics work and have a sense of humour. In fact, most comments, uh, most comics and comedians are really up there on how politics work and find the humour in it. Get the truth out there with humour, right? And FYI, whether you believe in the virus or not, because like I said, we all have different ideas and different opinions, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, the government have taken the piss. If you believe that the virus is real, then the British government didn't lock down our country until all the other countries had um, reopened, right? So other countries was locking down immediately. Um, really going after the safety of people. Um, our government was still allowing people to come into the country, never mind anything else, to come into the country. Uh, and in comparison of the size of other countries to England, how many people died in England from the virus, um, is a failure, wouldn't you think? And whether you do or not believe in the virus, the information was very confusing. Okay, you can go to work but stay at home. Okay. Um, <laughs> so there was a lot. There was a lot going on and let's say you wasn't that great on politics or understanding of politics. Did that mean that you didn't need to be safe from the virus? So in your opinion, because the message of our government from our government wasn't clear enough for those who didn't understand politics, now you can't judge a monkey against a fish swimming, right? So 
you're then saying those people shouldn't get the right information or clear information because Boris didn't lock down he went with herd immunity and then when he thought damn this isn't working I've caught corona um <laughs> he went um and tried to say okay all the other countries that are opening back up now we're gonna lock down but actually what what did he close the borders from because straight away he got pressure to reopen the borders i don't know why i've gone into this topic but it's just what happens right we're getting ready together this is happening at some point today i might be ready might get the real video out that i wanted to get out right but yeah so this person was like well people don't understand politics so if a monkey can't swim as well as a fish that means he doesn't deserve to live come on now shut your face we're allowed humor gets us through gets us through it and the assumption that i didn't know about politics was just you know the thing about me is i can argue either side of an argument because I look at other people's point of view and most people think I'm pro one way or something like that, but I'm not. I'm actually quite neutral, which means I can see both sides and argue both sides of the argument. So if I'm in the mood and I got time, I'll give you some time and, you know, I try not to, but I will give you some time and make you regret talking to me because I've had nothing but time. <laughs> I've been a stay at home mother since um you know the internet came out so i've been doing nothing but researching and learning online wasn't that fun <laughs> oh dear it's like people tell me the same about religion and i'll say well i've studied all religions actually one of my favorite things i watched was um Morgan's Freeman, The Story of God. I loved that program. That was amazing. Um, so, yeah. Random stuff. Maybe I should have picked a topic. I watched this girl on Facebook. I watch her. It's the only thing I do on Facebook um, because I found her when I was looking for something else. And now I keep my Facebook open to watch this girl um she does murder and makeup i'm a scorpio so i like all sorts of things that are dark and maybe out there and things so it's like uh, stories about serial killers and things like that while she's doing her makeup i thought maybe i might learn something from her i haven't but the murder stuff was great not like i enjoy the fact that people get murdered but it, I like learning about the psychology of people but this I don't know I'm just obsessed with watching this girl and she talks about murder and makeup I think she's called Bailey I'm not actually sure Bailey something so if you search murder and makeup it'll probably come up it's if you're into that sort of thing. Maybe you're like Stephanie. You're a complete weirdo. I know, I know. I can't remember a time that I didn't read about. I remember being really young and my mum had um, like a book on Fred and Rosemary West and other like major serial killers. I remember reading that very young. Like it was really interesting to me these books and things like that because there's a lot to it isn't it there's the psychology of the killer the person who stayed around things like that um so i guess that's some of my hobbies <laughs> watching murder and makeup um i did say i would do you guys um a q and a about me but when i um ask people hey 
um, what's what do you want to know basically you asked me for a Q&A what do you want to know um, they started sending me questions about their exes so I was like okay that's not a QA and a um, about me but some miscommunication somewhere but I don't know maybe when I hit 100k I'll do some live free readings it's really strange what's going on um, with my videos at the moment so yeah maybe when I've hit 100k and if you're still here well done <laughs> because I, I'm barely like, okay, this is taking some time that I don't really want to be taking. I wish I had like, I wish I'm like one of those YouTubers who um, realizes they're sat on their wet towel before their bum is wet. <laughs> but, okay, okay. Just another, just another day, huh? Um, no, I was just sure I was one of those YouTubers who could do makeup and like get a billion views from like doing their fabulous makeup and looking gorgeous. But I can't even do my own makeup, never mind somebody else's. Why is that? See, I lose my stuff. Like, what is wrong with me? I just, I'll have it right in my hand and then it's gone. It's, it'll be gone. Looking for my eyebrow thing. I swear I just had it. Um. Yep. <laughs> I had a pink one and I was looking for a green one. So yeah. I've put so much weight on in lockdown um, that it's not even funny. <laughs> she says laughing. Um, I laugh because I'm not really bothered about my weight. Um, I don't want to be unhealthy, but I'm not really bothered about my weight because I had I've always had a difficult relationship with food. I can easily be put off. Um, so when I'm having a happy, healthy relationship with food, then I'm happy. It's just that I don't really get out as much because my job is sat here at my desk, right? So that's the reason I'm gaining weight. I'm sat still and with lockdown, there's extra no going out, right? So... Yeah, I don't really like big drawn on eyebrows on myself. I mean, they look fabulous on everybody else, but on me, I just try to maybe go over. The biggest thing I missed in lockdown was my eyebrow woman because I messed them up. <laughs> and my eyebrow woman shouts at me like, did you do them? I was like, She's like, kind of looks like you. I'm like, no. And that's why I don't tell anybody I've got a YouTube because then when they find out I've been doing it, uh-uh, I'm not doing your eyebrows again. I'm like, please, please, I can't take it. It's so funny how we've become accustomed in life to these silly little things that mean nothing. I mean, I have got better during lockdown because I haven't even wore any makeup. Well, I didn't before, but probably when I was going to the shops or something, I probably thought more then about I'm going to put some makeup on before I go out. Not for anybody, but just for myself. And I think lockdown taught me that I just don't need to be doing that. Like, you guys know I've got this scar on my chest. So I seen this woman in the supermarket and she was like, oh my God, it's so ugly, isn't it? And I was like, 
what is and me and my daughter were stood there like what is, what is she on about and she was like your scar she was like i have one too and i'm gonna get it removed it can get removed for 500 pound so i just thought i'd let you know because i know it's horrible having it there and it's i was like actually it doesn't bother me and if somebody's going to be bothered by that they don't want to see my ass <laughs> I'm really see this is what i mean about my humor you can't take me anywhere first of all that's what you need to know first you can't take me anywhere um but if somebody's going to be bothered by a scar i've got a lot of worse things going on with me than a scar um so I was, and I just thought, why would you say that to somebody? Just imagine if I was really conscious about it. Why would you say something to somebody, especially in that way? Oh my God, it's so ugly. Like, it's a good job I wasn't really, like, upset about it or anything, right? Because that would be freaking messed up. That's what I think. I mean... I could imagine maybe a younger girl than me maybe being quite upset by it because it is somewhere like on a woman that is you know maybe an important place or feature so I just thought why would you even say that if you thought I was going to be upset by it why would you say it in the first place I mean what you did was ugly not my scar my scar was showed me like wow my body is amazing it's strong i mean it, it was a hole and then it was closing up and things like that it was open one day closed the next i was like wow look at this <laughs> so yeah it wasn't like it really gave me a new appreciation for the human body i was like wow that's freaking amazing like really it was amazing i mean if you've ever seen something like that i think even speaking i was speaking to somebody about a girl who was um in afghanistan and she'd been bombed and lost a leg and like 14 members of her family or something and the person i was talking to was like oh it's so sad that she was beautiful and now she didn't have a leg i was like oh why is she ugly now uh, i bet she's sad why why do you bet that she's sad the things that you know probably most people would feel because they haven't experienced it would break somebody might be what makes somebody why would you presume that she's now ugly and got no hope in life and things like that um i mean how would you guys look at it like an opportunity to grow um to maybe be thankful maybe see the important things in life i think probably lockdown might have done that for a lot of people as well so i believe everything has its purpose right whether um we agree with it or not i mean it gave us an opportunity to see how it feels to be without our family and things like that right i mean why would she instantly ugly oh yeah this is what people who will be saying stephanie why are you got a white face i've actually been suntanned on my face <laughs> usually it's just my arms because the sun comes through the window onto my arms and onto my in my car my arms and hands will be darker than my face you don't want to see my boobs and bum they are completely white because they haven't been out in a long time so go ahead say something yes i wear makeup and um I have photos with filters. The picture on my YouTube is two years old, the one where I'm wearing red lipstick and my face looks thinner. It's not actually white. 
wider, it's just thinner. Like I said, no makeup tips here. I see these girls doing these things and I try it and I'm like, we're going out. We spent 15 hours doing this. We're going out, like it or not. And my sponge is a little bit damp and I'm going to spray it with my Thin Mist by Barry M. Not sponsored by Barry M or anybody. because that's my life. I'm joking guys, I'm joking. And on this I'm just going to use, do you know I hate as well? Well, not hate, it's a pet peeve. When you'll see memes like Oh my god, get a girl who you can take take her swimming on her first date. Shut the hell up. If she wants to wear makeup, she can wear makeup. Who the hell are you? <laughs> and, you know, it's not lying. You know, same as when a guy goes, Oh, when I get you home, I'm going to throw it down. And they... Put it in and th three seconds later they haven't put anything down except for themselves. <laughs> oh dear. But you're glad your granny doesn't talk like this, but baby Aries granny talks like this. <laughs> I can't even see because I'm looking in a camera. But you know. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood. We're gonna use some foundation. We're gonna use some foundation. That's pretty dark. Cause I got a suntan. Usually it's um I usually use urban decay all night. This one, Urban Decay All Night Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. Not sponsored by Urban Decay either. So, anybody? Yeah, so I'm just gonna, again, prove that I know nothing about makeup. <laughs> so, as a warning, please don't try this at home. Okay, okay. Please don't try this at home. So what I put on before that, guys, was just a concealer. She'd be like, hey, she already filled those places. Yeah, it was just a concealer. And some girls are really amazing and can do the eye makeup last but I am not one of those girls or I would have my own YouTube channel so if you're one of those girls hey want to do collab and do makeup on me <laughs> you want to do collab and do makeup on me hey holler at you girl <laughs> No, I get it. I get it, each to their own. But what I usually do is just slap whatever on, think I'm doing something, and just blend until there's no tomorrow. So the video I'm going to be doing, or wanted to do, was about relationships and marriages and 
about us as people in relationships, wanting relationships and stuff. So I hope you do watch that. Um, it did come to me the other day, so I had to write it down. So I plan to do it today. Um, and that's why I thought, oh, you know what? I'll give them some makeup, Stephanie. <laughs> you guys know I'll do a thinking out loud video with no makeup. If you want to check that out, that's also on my channel, guys. That I think it was thinking out loud for 2020. Um, the one about ideas on how to start a business and things like that. Oh my god, this video is 40 minutes long. Jeez. Okay. I better hurry up better. Again, if you're still here, well done. What's up? What's up? Not Mel B. Came from the same place as Mel B. Grew up in the same place as Mel B. Didn't marry Eddie Murphy, not a billionaire, <laughs> not Mel B. So I'm just putting on my blusher. Ladies would just pinch. Guess I'm a tramp. <laughs> Ladies in the tram. I am a tramp in the sense that, you know, sometimes when I don't want to put on that much makeup, I just want to be like, I will just try and use what's already on my blusher brush. <laughs> And always, I used to, well, I don't know where I think I was taught makeup, um, but, you know, just watching your mums and that as you grow up or something like that, I thought we used to smile, put blusher on. No, because what happens is when you put it there, when you're not smiling, it gives you this resting bitch face and it makes your face go down here. So you shouldn't actually smile and put your blusher on. I guess old habits die hard though, right? And I, I heard this thing where you should do this three down your face. So like, but yeah, I can't see in a mirror. I'm going to go look in a mirror. And probably I'll be right back for you guys at least anyway, because I'm just going to pause the video and then come back but we seem to be making progress i just need to see what my foundation looks like so when i actually go into the real world you know because if you've done your makeup in those mirrors and then it'll be like wow my makeup looks so good you go outside you look like a rodeo clown that's gonna be me and i'm back i put my clothes on because obviously you know, it's going to get too much. Uh, I was just checking myself out in the mirror, my foundation, which is okay. I'm just going to set under my eyes and slap some lipstick on, the mascara. But I think you guys have put up with enough of my ranting and raving today. Um, like I said, I am going to try and do a different video for you guys. Hopefully a better picture, better angles, whatever. I'm not that great at it. Um, yeah, and we'll just go from there. So I'm just going to finish with my lipstick and mascara, which I probably should have done when I was doing my eyes, right? But you know, old habits die hard. I just, I probably do my makeup like people from the 80s.
really want it blue. Um, I mascara, but <clears throat> yeah, my friends could have it. But me, it just looked ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I'm not a makeup guru. I just wanted to sit with my um, subs and rant and rave <laughs> and talk about nothing as I do my makeup uh, for the day. <clears throat> so have a good day, guys.